This is lesson 11 for the course Taste of Hebrew. The last lesson of learning the Aleph Bet, although there's three letters in this lesson, it'll be a little bit shorter because we won't do any review with reading phrases. We'll do that more in the next lesson. The letter Resh has a rounded corner in the upper right-hand corner, often confused by new readers with the Dalit, which, remember, has a tail in the upper right-hand corner. Next letter has two ways of saying it. The sheen with a dot on the upper right-hand stem and the scene with a dot on the upper left-hand stem. And finally, the last letter, the tav, looks very much similar to the chet, but the tav has a toe on it. You'll have trouble with that one in the beginning, but after a while you'll see it with no problem. Practice with the vowel points. Ra, ra, re, re, ru. Re, re, ro. Remember, the whole is hard to see on these slides, but it's not difficult when we get to the actual text. On the upper row, we have the sheen with the dot on the upper right hand stem. Sha, sha, she, she, shu, she, she, show. And on the bottom, sa, sa, se, se, su, se, si, so. And the final letter, the tav. Remember, it has a toe on it. Ta, ta, te. Oh, I got an extra te in there. Te. Two, te, t, toe. And that's it for all the letters and vowels. Those of you who've gotten this far, great work. Actually, the difficult part is over. Once we get into reading the Torah, which we'll do in the next lesson, it becomes a lot more interesting. This completes Lesson 11, Taste of Hebrew. Also available at www www.beneorpueblo.com if you're watching this on YouTube. This also completes this series, Taste of Hebrew, and we'll be starting another playlist shortly called Reading Torah, and that's where you should go after this lesson.